This is the regular boring headlights. Boring. Super boring. Like, what, what is this? Why? Why? It's your boy, it's Mr. 20 West in the building, baby. All right, you know we getting litty. You know how we do it. It's time to take this thing to the next level. Today, we are changing out the headlights on this thing. The headlights got, this, they, they got like, you know what that is. I mean, I'm gonna look into that because I don't think it's supposed to be open like that. Um, oh, yeah, we're gonna change the headlights on this bad boy. Let me show you some stuff. All right, so the regular boring headlights. Boring. Super boring. Like, what, what is this? Why? Why? So, we're gonna go ahead and do an unboxing of this. Shout out to my, if you haven't seen the vlog already, on my all-terrain tires that I got. They don't look massive, but yeah, them bad boys clean. All right. So let's go, let me set up the camera so I can show you this uh, unboxing. I got Khalif Girl Creations in the building helping me out with this project because uh, I'm not very good at stuff like this. And he's pretty savvy. We did pretty well on his uh, G37. How did G37 roll? As you see. It's straight? She's back on. Oh, yeah. um, I just purchased this bad boy, these bad boys. Um, this is, it's slick of unboxing because I really haven't took them out. I just took out the, the top part. First thing I noticed, they got a lot of styrofoam in these bad boys. Ooh, um, one of the things they said, the most important thing was never ever sit the light on the ground face down. Never sit the light face down on any side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the styrofoam that it came with these. Heavy, and yeah, so you've seen the boring lights. Whew. Oh my God. Oh my, hold on, God. Oh my God, look at that. Oh my god, the blinker setup on here is so whew, whew. it's so it's so beautiful. This it's LED uh LED lights. Man, you can see the craftsmanship in that. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, that's nice. Now I did see um that this has to be connected to one of the outlets that's already on the truck. So at some point I gotta figure out which which is which. But I was watching a video last night on this. So yeah, and oh, and you gotta make sure that this cup is completely on this light, completely. So ah, this is gonna be great, y'all. So one of the most, uh, the first things that they said, there's a bolt right there, and then there's a bolt down there. This is the pencil they give you. So they give you instructions on it, all the tools that you'll need. Uh, the inside, and this is where they tell you never sit it down on the face. And then they got to balance. Somehow I'm supposed to balance this thing. That might be a little difficult, but that's okay. Um, so you got a six, seven, and an eight sockets. I know I got all of those. A Phillips head screwdriver, definitely got those. This, that, okay. And then they give you the balance, the inverter installer for the headlights. Boom, bam. Oh, okay, and then this is the negative wires. All right, so let's do it. All right, so. Inside here, there's a latch that you push up, and that releases this side of the, the light. And then that way you can pull it out to get to the bolt that's right here. All right. You're probably wondering, like, what am I talking about? Right down here between the grill and the light is a number. You can reach into the smoke access panel and find So once you do that, you hear it pop, and now you're ready. Let's go to the next step. All right, so uh, right now we're just gonna take this grill off because it'll be easier for us to get to that screw and then I can show you exactly what that screw like look like because in a video, Buddy wasn't able to show you the screw, but Mr. Tony West gonna show you this screw. If you was wondering, um, it takes a tin, take a tin socket to get these off. Once you get them off, 
then they got like a plastic thing underneath and it comes right out so ready So just like that, it's easy to get the grill off. So so let me show you exactly what the what else you gotta take off. This bolt, this bolt that's all the way down here is the bolt that you gotta get off. So the guy had a 10 millimeter, uh, uh, no a 12 meter, millimeter uh, socket to get all the way down here with an adapter. All we had is what two tens, and we just couldn't, we didn't get nowhere close to that. Uh, this thing, this part. All right. So this is the headlight. Whew. It was a little difficult to come, come out, bro. Yeah. This guy. Alright. And then, uh, say that. So you gotta make sure you unplug these just right. There's a, a red. And a latch on there. And that's that. Pretty, pretty crusty. Crisp, uh, crusty. Give me a second to get this thing together. So, uh, I had to go get wire cutters, uh, female connectors. Wire cutters, female connectors. Make sure you get some of these bad boys if you're going to do this type of mod. Alright. Now we can get back to putting these headlights in. Alright. What's going on, my beautiful people? It, it, I mean, like... If you seen when we start the project, now is nighttime. Um, now, what we did do, I want you to check this out. So you see how this is the old assembly? And how uh, this right here is the blanker and this is the factory uh, light. What you gotta do is, they didn't tell you you need uh, cable strippers. Definitely need cable strippers. And then, um, as far as they, the dude in the video was like, you need female connectors or whatever. You didn't need none of those. You don't need those. Don't worry. Don't don't even purchase no connectors. You don't need those. Um, but you do need to have uh, electrical tape for sure, and definitely need your uh, your socket. Now look at that light. Look at that. Oh, got it in. Now we. I'm gonna turn it on after we get everything together. But look at that. That look tremendously better. I mean, tremendous. Look at that old crappy one right there. And then look at this. Oh my God. That's, I don't even know what to do with them. I think I should just sell them on eBay. They're freaking used like crazy. Now I'm gonna keep them around just in case I need them. But yeah. Huh. All right, so we're almost done. I'm gonna show you what we did, what we're gonna do to get this to work with this because there's a whole different assembly on this to get that in there so i'm gonna give you up close personal so what you want to do because this is your your regular factory uh set right here what you want to do is you need to cut because this is high beam so you need to cut this the blue and the black the black is your regular ground wire which is going to tie in with the bar light so as you can see it's got a black one and a red one and then you're like oh my god there's only a blue one and a black one why i can't just connect it you don't want to connect these to that because you're, you're you want your bar to run with your normal lights so we're gonna cut here we're gonna start with uh a 10. so we're gonna go about right there put a little indentation in there thank you for that light so the reason i didn't just jump into it and just start Clipping, clipping, is because I don't want to cut all the way through the wire because I don't want to have to try to fix this housing right here. So, and then we went to 12, and now we're gonna do 14. All right, so you see how some of the wire is coming? Just keep going because you want to pull it a little bit. Give it a little tug, don't be afraid to give it a little tug. Cause this right here is your wire stripper. So that's the job it's supposed to do, as long as you find the right ones. So I, I start with 10, I go to 12, and then 14. 14, open it up like that. 
you want it to be open like that and you go over to the blue one you don't have to start you don't have to do the blue one at the same time but you know do the same process 10 give the good indentation mark then go back in there with a 12 and they're good move around a little bit right you see how I'm just I'm, I'm I got a firm grip on it and good grip on a it's two so you see right there I'm 12 right there is opening it up and then you can hit it with the 14 just play around so what you want to do is ex you want to get this wire exposed as much as possible all the way around all right so that looks good that down right there so you take the black well I might open this one up too you should open these I, I'm a like I don't have to but I want to have a, a better connection so I'm gonna open this up a little bit same process though 10 <laughs> 14 no so we'll do uh, 18 Keep it like that there we go boom and I had I had to use 20 so you see that right there 20 to get that wire out like that and uh, 20 right here and pull, 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 pull. All right. now it's free so I can do it with my hand boom check it out not any longer all right so black one connect to the black wow wow and that's why i wanted to make sure i had enough right then red one you're going to connect to the blue all right now because you want this to run work off your regular lights so connect that to your blue Alright. Alright. Plug in the green. Oh. I want to make sure it's absolutely beautiful. I want a beautiful connection because uh, I'm going to use my uh, tape. I'm going to use my electrical tape. So, for those who don't know what electrical tape is, it's the black tape. Make sure you get this. Alright. And then you're going to plug up the green connector in there like this. Boom, bam. Now you can lock it once you get it, but test out your connections before you lock it because you want to make sure that your light actually works. So, so I'm going to test out the connection. I'm not going to show you the light just yet. I'll show you at the end of the process. But yeah, so you know that part. Yeah, that thing locked in. That's how the headlight looks. Off. So I'll show y'all later what it looked like on I don't know what y'all. That's crazy.